Okay, so I want to give an example of a modern, uh, I guess, rock and roll, psychedelic, whatever, um, riff uh, that uh, I'm going to play it on the acoustic and then I'm going to play it on the electric. And on the acoustic, this particular riff, uh, it's, it goes as high as the 19th fret. Now, this, you see, this is the edge of where you could naturally reach, or like semi-naturally reach. Um, and that would be the 14th fret. So the, this would be the fifth, 15th fret. That would be the 17th fret. And that would be the 19th fret. And so we play on this string and this string, which are G and D. And um, yeah, I'm, it's going to be really difficult to play. And I'm starting the video with the acoustic. One, because I was working on it. And two, because I think, uh, I don't know, it's going to be funny. But you'll see. Right, okay. So. Right, okay. What is this? 17, 18, 19. Okay, so. Press our two fingers there. I, I actually tried going over from the top. Okay, so if you play further, you pluck further down because... So, first of all, that that's probably very difficult to hear how it's musical. Uh, even the finished product that you hear on the MP3, uh, you're like, when you first hear it, you're like, that's not a, that, that's not music. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that's that portion of the video, and now I'm going to switch to electric. Okay, so we got our electric here, and something that's pretty common, but not, it's not a hundred percent standard. You see these two dots here? That means 12. So 12, 15, 17, 19. Uh, so as you can see with the electric it's a lot easier to play this. So you go, where are we? sit and listen this time next year. And by the way, I cranked up the reverb, but uh, it doesn't seem to be being effective for whatever reason. And just to switch further down the neck, earlier today I already recorded this video, but I thought I'd include it here. So this is for a different song. Uh, Valentine's made of glitter and glue, I promise to write to remember you. So um, I'm going to just go through this really quick. You've got your G chord, so uh, on 
the first string, third, on the fifth string, second, on the first string, third. That's your G chord. Then you move that down to the fifth. So all your thirds, all, all your third frets are now on the fifth fret, and the second fret is now on the fourth fret. Okay, now you take your uh, index finger and your middle finger, and you move it so it's on the second and third string. I hope you know the bottom, the one furthest from your head is the first string. So there we go, and so what I was doing there was just playing those three strings. finger on the fourth uh, fret, uh, uh, shit, For, fourth fret, second string, uh, then end up middle finger on the third fret, fifth string. And you just play that like a power chord. <laughs> But that's just, I think that's a cool little riff. So, yeah, those are the two things, or I guess three if you can't be acoustic. And thank you for watching if you watched. And I appreciate your work, Tess Parks. No disrespect with this video. This is in honor of you. I like you, and I am trying to learn guitar.